TG, bad player edition. Gonna ask if I was the bad player today. Be explorers hired to explore caves and discover what happened to the legendary magical forge in them, which is the source of the city's energy. Ambushed by Faction X, who yell stuff like, Our Lord has said you must die. Death to the heathens, while fighting to the death. Later find another group of said Faction X, who say the same shit and fight to the death once again. Rinse and repeat for three sessions. Last session, today. Discover Faction X has kidnapped the mayor of the city who hired us to stop our mission. They want to destroy the forge, which will awaken their lord and destroy the city, killing everyone in it. Nobody has to be hurt. Drop your weapons and surrender, while having the mayor as hostage. We try to save the mayor and the city. So you choose death. GM clearly wanted us to surrender, drop our weapons and submit to their will, and he kept saying, well, they won't kill you. How? Nothing in their actions and words has ever shown that. On the contrary, every time they attacked us, and every time they were the ones who attacked first, was to kill. They weren't trustworthy and they literally want to blow up a city and kill everyone in it. We hear screams. Yeah, they will totally not kill you if you drop your weapons. Our weapons were down when we were sleeping the first time and they still went for the kill. It's so weird that our party didn't trust them and kept fighting. We didn't die, but GM says we weren't logical and in fact retarded in here. Well, sorry if our mostly good party, there's a paladin in the party, not me though, aren't, mostly o- good, okay. <laughs> mostly, aren't okay with genociding a city and trusting the dudes who constantly attacked us. We can't know what's in your head, GM, to know if they will keep their word and suddenly let us live now. When never was this shown before. Yeah, what can you like? Yeah. Like that, like, let's be serious. Put your weapons down, they won't kill you. Um, um I don't know, this um, has been going on for three I sessions at this point. I think they're going to kill us, but no. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be different if it happened at the start, maybe. Yeah, but, like, but they, these people seem like a doomsday cult. Yeah, and, like, there's three be... sessions in and they keep, like, they're just killing everyone. So yeah. it's like, I know I'm not going to put weapons down. Sorry, I, I, but I don't, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I would have went for that option, if I'd be honest with you. I don't try doing this type of stuff a few times. Yeah. And try to be like, oh no, we'll try and talk to them. Most of the time, it never works for me. Just it just doesn't work all that often. Let's be. Have you guys ever had a situation like this before? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go on. Next boost. One guy whines a lot. One guy whines and cheats. One guy types slow and doesn't role play. One guy types slow. I hate that. I know. I can't say anything. I'm a fucking boomer on the internet most of the time, so I type with my middle finger. I think a lot of the time when it comes to people typing, so they just kind of work out what they're wanting to do at the same yeah. time, though. One guy disappears a lot without letting me know. That's horrible, honestly. I, like, just like BRB in the chat, go quick. Yeah. Like, please, please, I guys. still like most of them besides the no roleplay guy. I don't know. The whining is pretty. I don't know. Whining does me in. Whining does me in. So whining. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the mid for listening to oh, boys whining no. at me. A lot of the time, it's like, like just work out a solution to the problem. <laughs> yeah. Stop guarding about the issue. Just get fucking on with get it. Fucking get on with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. Just fucking get on with it. What do you think is the worst out of all these sins? Whining, cheating, not role playing, typing, typing slow, slow, or just or, fucking or, or disappearing just in the middle of the fucking game. <laughs> I think role playing is probably the worst, genuinely. Yeah. But, look, you let us know what you think down below. Brief players that Homebrew campaign has a serious tone. Lots of moral quandaries based on historical events. He'd rather fuck horses and corpses instead of participate in the group's decision making. Once is quirky, three times or more is just yeah, fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, let's be sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It is. Won't take combat seriously. Just wanted to shit or kick everybody in the balls. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> Cackle uncontrollably every time he does it, like it's the funniest thing. Kicking someone in the balls is kind of funny. It is kind of funny, but is it every every line? Is he kicking someone in the nuts? Jab slap. (laughs) (laughs) Got him good. (laughs) Did I mention he keep trying to fuck things? I got tired and uncomfortable having to ERP his weird orc necro bestiality fetishes. Oh Oh, no, no, that's that's your fault for actually engaging in this. I know, for going along with it. Just feed the black, call it a day, you know what I mean? Give him in-game aids and attempt to stop his <laughs> bullshit to no avail. No, you need to give something way worse than aids. Aids is a slow burner one. You need to give him, like, straight up, like, dick hardcore rot. hardcore dick got syphilis. Yeah. Like, his mind, mind starts, starts going to sip. Yeah, I think you need to give him, like, a minus neg- minus modifier on his, like, intelligence, intelligence and wisdom. Stuff, yeah. You know? Rescued an NPC child's corpse from the river and tried to fuck it because... <laughs> Humor, guys, am I right? <laughs> 
kept derailing pivotal moments. Doesn't like it when everyone else isn't focused on him and would say gross, cringy shit to regain attention. I mean, that's cringe. I want to know what kind of what age this fella is. It would explain a lot. Like, I'm going to you know, guess it's a fella. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's a fella. Because of the ball slap. <laughs> I don't know. You see, whenever we do these sorts of stories, I think there's more women that turn out to be... No, women in- just turn out to be like SJW. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat snoring. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, snoring actually. Yeah. Oh, my God. But no, I, I I do think there is more women that turn out to be, or maybe I'm just vividly remembering the woman that wouldn't stop by, wouldn't stop by and drag and tell those. I okay, maybe in my memory's tarnished. Up. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Broke immersion constantly by trying to bring in retarded pop culture references and modern items slash actions into the game based around medieval times. Attempted to kill all the quest giver NPCs when he got bored and is too stupid to follow the plot. Then complain when natural consequences occur. E.g. Village lynches him and other PCs refuse to help. What do you do with boys like that? Spurg. <laughs> I, I, honestly, I think it is. It's just That's just straight up spurg. Yeah, that's the finest. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's any way to help that fella. No. He, 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 like, he's on his path, all right? He's, as we <laughs> he's said made his video, path and he's, he's walking down it. He's, like, he's not he's, walking down it. He's Naruto running the right <laughs> yeah, down that path. Down it. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) Um, like, let's be serious. The models are pretty based looking, so once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. A story to be remembered for all time. This happened a few months ago. We were playing over Rule 20 because... Purr. <laughs> and yeah. because the campaign I played was Warhammer Fantasy 4th Edition. Specifically, Enemy Within. Mistaken identity and shadows over Bogenhafen. For the record, I come from a background of being a player in D&D 5th edition, namely Dragon Heist, Dungeons of the Mad Mage, not very fun in my honest opinion, and Curse of Strahd. Seeing what all these adventures offered, I wanted to run my own story-centric adventure too. I'll keep this as spoiler-free as possible. I got five players in the campaign. One of them I DM'd for before. He is the wizard. The rest I haven't. Those being a scholar, an engineer, a hunter, and a cavalryman. The engineer, however, was a DM himself, so I was excited to have him join us. I knew he would play his character to the hilt. As a rule in Warhammer, the story continues even if players choose not to engage in it, so it's important to keep pacing and direction. Importantly, I could not let the cavalryman start with a horse, as he could see events out of the sequence. So I told him his graduation assignment is to get a horse. Good candidate is the broken half and staff and fist. Oh my god, you know what you need? You need to put in some like horrible like nineties electronic music in the back of that. You know, half and shock and fest, bogan Ramstein. <laughs> no, not Ramstein. You need more like proper like cheesy oh, yeah. you know like got under a highway bench. Yeah. You know like that Yeah, that's exactly Which what we're going for. Translates to a sheep fair. Sounds about right. Which has a lot of livestock and animals for sale. And he got a coupon from his bark as well. So it was a good hook to move the party there, over a few days' travel. The first thing that happens, session number one, is the cavalryman pilfers a noble's belongings and the engineer stabs a kind gambler to death for his money. A few shillings, in fact. These were the first NPCs they'd seen in the first location. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you've got murder hoboos on your hands. But look, I'm sorry, Warhammer Fantasy, let us be serious. Death is like it's life just is normal. so cheap. Yeah. Life is hyper cheap in that sense. Yeah, it's just normal. So the idea of murder robots isn't really all that bad for yeah. the setting, you know? Yeah. Compared to D and D like. Yeah. It's not on the same yeah. scale. So these were the first NPCs they had seen in the first location. A fortified coach station they had been to. So after leaving that station on a coach, they happened upon an ambush site. Here I decided that the engineer will find his look alike who has a note of inheritance and two letters confirming the bearer's identity. In D&D terms, it's like a quarter of a million gold plus land and title. The conditions? Come to Bogenhafen and prove it to you. 
Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good not, deal not for, for every for a session. Especially what? Like you want a quarter session, of a million? <laughs> I'm not gonna mm. I'm not gonna turn Come on time. down to Bogenhafen. <laughs> yeah. Where we have sheep you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wheels. <laughs> I chose the engineer because I thought, with his years of experience, he would play this role to the hilt. Long story short, their inheritance was false. And they got themselves embroiled in a massive conspiracy that spans literally all four campaign books. And because he got duped, he decided to tap out of the story, trying to get us to meet less often to play. <sighs> that seems like such a waste. I know. That seems like such a waste. I don't know. They tried breaking in and pillaging a bar, so they got restrained and roughed up. In the process of being restrained, the engineer and cavalryman drew swords and hacked three people, injured or killed. Again, they broke in and were being restrained with open hands. The scholar, mage and hunter have surrendered and nothing happened to them. Though they all got told to get the fuck out and not to pull this shit again. The two guys who fought were constantly disinterested in participating in the story. So they'd be playing other games while also playing with us. That's just shit. That's just <sighs> shitty fucking manners to me. Fast forward to the end. The protagonist breaks up a cult and the cavalry man decide to torture the captives who are also the city councillors. The protagonist hauls them and themselves to the guard and get one-on-one -on -one interviews. The guys who participated in the story aired out all the dirty laundry of murder, torture and theft by the other two. Seeing that this was a big problem, the players decided to resolve in game. I had to follow through, so I set up a court. Facts were presented, so were the arguments, and I legitimately gave one last chance for contrition. If the two murder hobos genuinely wanted a do-over, I'd cut off their hands and let them keep their characters. Instead, their argument was, can I just summarise what everyone else said before me? And no original information was given from them, in their own defence. In the end, I hanged them and they got voted out of the campaign. Let me tell you this, this was not how Bogenhafen should have ended. That's kind of sad, to be honest with you. Bogenhafen. Bogenhafen. Look, it's one of those ones, it's hard to find good players, but once you get that, keep with them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, do not let them go once you Don't, get a good fucking like, party. See if you get a good DM, you tweet that DM, right? You, he asks, you, you rub his feet and if, give him back massages. If, if that if that DM asks you, like, yo, mate, I haven't been getting sex recently. I could really do with a wee ham shank. You give him a ham you shank. Give, you give him that ham shank, all right? Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Same and you make player. sure it's good. You spit. You, yeah, exactly. You, you, like, this is getting a better out of ham. Yeah. For, <laughs> okay, like, all I'm saying is, if you find yourself good players or a good DM, stay together. It's hard to find that, and especially close by. You know, it's very, very difficult, you know, and treasure who you've got. Treasure them. Treasure them well, you know, because it's... <laughs> okay, that was really like honest with you. I'm sorry. I, I, like, I, like I said, I'm sorry about that one, guys, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so if you have any own stories of horrible DMs, horrible, horrible players, players, horrible experiences in general, let us know down below. If we get enough good ones, we'll make a video out of it. I think it'll be a bit of fun. Yeah. It gives us a bit more interaction with you guys. Yeah. You know? But, uh, yeah. As always, check out all the links down below. Check out our new website, guys. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.